All right. So what I'm doing here is uh, I've got the pickup in four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive low, and what happens is the winch actually starts to get wadded up. Now look how nice that is down in there. And how you get that accomplished if you don't run a winch is you have to put a lot of strain on that winch in order to get it to to work this way. And what it does is you, you let that winch out as far as you can and then you start to pull on it really tight. So I've got the truck in four wheel drive low and it goes clear over to that Cadillac and then that uh, winch when you start pulling on it it starts to slowly move over to one side instead of wrapping up in big old layers it actually looks like a sewing machine thread and that's what you want you want it to be crisp and clean like that otherwise if it gets bird nested on you then it causes you some problems but I also have another problem done a pretty nasty job in the mountains and you can see a lot of the ice and snow that's built up underneath there but I was working this thing and I'll be darned if I didn't break it off right there it's just from a wheel lift but I got to figure out how to fix that rather than replace this whole unit in here so we're gonna look at that and see what we can do to get that fixed so I lower that tension on there and then I can pull that hook off of there and now that it's done because it's a pretty boring process but you can see I've got that that pulley block hooked in there and it's stuck in the middle and you want it to be in the middle because when it feeds into the middle of the winch drum right up here right here let me see if I can show you the winch drum right in the middle it moves across here as the as the the winch cable starts to to wrap around the drum evenly it, it moves and then it stacks up on one side and then starts moving the other side so that's what that does I gotta fix this little goof up here